In previous lecture, we started a new chapter that called the diversion heat work of module two. Here, so we discuss about what is the diversion heat work and what is the meaning of your barrage dam. Here, and there are two or four types of stage in river and the location. How can you decide the locations to construct your diversion heat works? Clear. So there are two stage that in this stage we construct diversion heat work at alluvial stage and boulder stage. Please remember that. And what is the meaning of diversion heat work? You know that. So in this session, we discuss components of diversion heat work. There are various types of components in diversion heat work. So this is a, a general layout of diversion heat work. There are total eight types, eight types of components which is used in diversion heat work. First one, weir or barrage. Under sluice, divide wall, fish ladder, channel, canal head regulator, silt excluder, marginal one, and guide line. So that all things are required in diversion heat work. So first we discuss about weir or barrage. You know that what is the meaning of weir? Here. So these are one type of solid constructions. Is used for rising the water or increasing the water level and divert the water into the channel. This is based on material constructions, design features, and types of soil foundation. The weir may be different types like a vertical drop weir, rock fill weir, concrete weir with sloping places. So there are three types of weir that we'll discuss in this session. So, first one vertical drop weir. So this is a diagram of vertical drop weir. Clear? So, in this vertical drop weir, there are uh, solid constructions are made, then and there are upstream side and downstream side. So, in upstream side, there are launching apron and block protections are provided on upstream side, and in downstream side, again launching apron, but inverted filter is provided. Instead of block protection. Clear? So that color vertical drop here. So that all are constructed by the concrete or masonry structure. Then second one rock fill here. So you know that meaning of rock fill here means that all years means that all material is according to the rock. Means that all, all materials are used. In, to construct this type of weir, which is according to rock. You easily show that uh, by the diagram, there are lots of amount of rock are used. Well, so in these uh, weirs, the downstream length is very high as compared to upstream length. So what is the slope of upstream side? This is a 1 in 4, but in downstream side, 1 in 20. And there are weird wall is provided to strengthen that rock. Clear? And there are core walls are provided between the some distance. So this is called rock fill weir. And also shutter is provided above the weirs to increase the height. Then third one, concrete weir with the sloping glaciers. Means sloping glaciers means sloping floor. So this is a one type of concrete wheel done. So this is an advanced type of concrete wheel or wheel. They are provided with a sloping floor both side in upstream side and downstream side. So there are some protection or protection provided on upstream side as well as a downstream side to prevent failure. Clear? So in upstream side there are gravel concrete blocks are provided. And in downstream side, there are concrete block filters are provided, and also both sides, the pile are used for preventing undermine. Clear? Yeah. So these are all things which are constructed by the concrete. But in this uh, weir, there are no solid constructions structures are used, like in a vertical drop weir. Okay? The next one, barrage. You know that in this barrage, there are main difference. Barrage, they use gates. 
to operate so that already discussed so we can move to the next topic that called a divide wall so what is the divide so divide wall means it is divide like uh, as for the diagram This is the divide wall. So, where is the divide wall? Like, I will show you. So, this is the divide wall. Look. So, this is the divide wall. Done. So divide wall, what is the purpose? So the divide means to divide the two things insulator and scouting space. Means under space. Done. And what is the basic purpose of divide wall? To dissipate the energy of flow and next to support of fish line. So this is the um, uses of divide wall. So that we will discuss in detail. There are some functions of divide wall. So first as I said it separate the floor of scouting slits and from that of the real proper which is at a higher level. Means scouting slits is on the left hand side of that wheel and this layer we can easily see that and also it provide a soil or oh sorry seal pocket in front of the canal head regulator so that seal get deposited in it and relatively clear waters enters the canal means seal pocket are used for preventing a seal into canal so they provides a seal pocket in front of the canal head regulator so that water can be easily moved or that water can be clear after entering into the silt pond. And it isolates the pocket upstream of the head regulator to facilitate scouring operation. Means that upstream side we can easily scouring operation done by some equipment. So Next one, it prevents formations of cross current and flow parallel to the wear axis. Means the cross current are easily or frequently produced in upstream side. So due to divide wall, we can mitigate or we can reduce the cross current energy. And it provides a straight, straight approach to the pocket and concentrate action to under sluice for washing out the silt deposited for it means by the divide wall we can uh, wash or we can uh, easily remove that uh, silt which is deposited in the pocket and it supports uh, one side as a it serves as a one side of the fish layer means it supports the fish layer so this is the basic functions of divide wall the next one fish layer so fish layer means they uh, that provide to migrations of fish. Here, so in every uh, large structure, fish ladder is provided. So this is a typical uh, image of fish ladder, and this is a typical diagram of fish ladder. So that fish can move easily from down uh, upstream to downstream or downstream to upstream. Okay? So when the uh, summer season. Obviously, the temperature is very high, so can uh, fish move downside to upstream side, means downstream to upstream side. But in winter season, so they move to upstream side to downstream side, downstream side. So that reason, the fish ladder is provided in diverse and hydro structure as well as a dam. Clear? Yeah. So, what is the policy? Uh, what is the velocity of Fish ladder, or what is the velocity of flow in fish, or fish ladder, which is near about 3.5 meter per second. So, the basic purpose of fish ladder is to provide migrations of fish upstream to downstream and downstream to upstream according to season. The next one under sluice or scouring sluice. So, this is a provide like this. <laughs> this is a scouring sluice or under sluice. So this is the image of under sluice, and this is a typical diagram of under sluice. <coughs> so there are some functions of under sluice. First one, 
they maintain a clear and well defined travel strand in front of the head regulator. So where is the head regulator? I will show you. This is a head regulator. Clear. This is a head regulator. This they provide stable channel or stable viewer in front of the head regulator. They are used to store away the silt deposit in front of the head regulator. Means in front of the head regulators, uh, the water is entering into the canal. Due to that, silt, silt pocket is provided. So in silt pocket, there are lots of amount of silt deposit. So that silt can be easily removed by the underspills. Uh, again, another function of underspills is to pass low discharge in uh, summer season. Clear? And again, they control the silt entry into the canal by silt pocket. And it, uh, it provides greater water weight, means it provides uh, maximum passage for floods. So there are some design according to, or there are some capacity of underspills. First one, the underspill should be able to pass dry weather flow. Clear? Remember that dry weather flow means in summer season. So that design or that capacity of underspill is pass summer season flow means dry weather flow. Done. And the width pocket in front of the underspill should be quite large. This silt pocket width is quite large to induce the settlement of the suspended silt if a silt extruder is provided. Like a uh, silt pocket or silt extruder is provided in front of the underspills. So the width of that particular pocket is very large. So we can easily exchange or we see as it is to suspend of silt excluder. Done? Next capacity means the capacity of underspills is kept at least twice the maximum discharge in the off taking canal to ensure good scouring capacity for removing the deposited so The capacity of underspills how much is equals to 2 multiply the discharge of the off taking canal here or otherwise maximum of that capacity. So the crest level of the underspill is generally kept average bad level of the river. And the crest level of proper weir or barrage, which is capped 1 to 1.5 meter higher the level of underspill. Then the weir height is above the underspill height. And what is the capacity of underspill is equal to more than 2 multiply the discharge of off taking canal. And they easily uh, pass off dry weather flow and sit, uh, the width of silt pocket is very large. So, there are different types of capacity which is included in underspills. So there are again design considerations of underspills. Please remember that there are lots of data. So first, the crest. Crest of underspills should be at least 1.2 meter lower than the crest of head regulator. This head regulator crest is like that, and the crest of that underspill is like that. So the difference between the crest of underspill and uh, under uh, head regulator, which is 1.2 meter or lower than. Clear? Like silt excluder is provided to reduce the entry of silt. So again, the height change. That height will become 1.8 meter to 2 meter of different range. The next one, the top of the underspills is placed at the same level as the seal of canal regulator excluder is not provided. It means, like a seal excluder is not provided in this uh, diversion head point. So the top level of underspills and top level of the canal head regulator are same. But when the silt excluder is provided so that height will be changed or the level of silt and the level of underspill will be changed. So the increased flow of 
thickness and length is designed on the same line as the flow of the rear wheels. So the gate opening of the under wheels for a given distance is generally based on a allowable velocity 2 to 3 meters per second. The length of the impervious flow on the upstream of the under may be determined. The Blix formula that called L2 is equal to 3.9 C under root H S divided by 30. So what is the notation? Q is discharge intensity in cubic per meter and K of water in front of we have that called H and C equals to Blix per meter. So this is the design considerations of under swings. First one, the crest of different two things under swings and head regulator which is below the 1.2 meter and when silt excluder is provided so that height will be changed which is 1.8 to 2 meter then and the top of the underscore and seal of the canal head regulator is same when a silt excluder is not provided and the thickness and the length of impervious fluid is same as the flow portion of the rear and the velocity of the rear portions or velocity of the here about the gate, which is 2 to 3, 2 to 3 meter per second. So fifth one, how can you define the length of impervious flow that called L2 by the Blisk coefficient formula? L2 is equal to 3.9c under root Hs by 30. The next topic is canal head regulator. So canal head regulator will be discussed in the next session.